Hi everyone, I'm Abby and welcome to Imposter Factory. Now this is kind of like a spin-off slash sequel of To the Moon and Finding Paradise, but it's a d bit darker than those games, as you can tell from this title screen. It's not bright and cheerful and the music is kind of dreary. It's still fairly good though. I've only played this game once, but yeah. Let's begin. dark and stormy night kind of set up. End of the road. Who hosts stump parties at a place like this? Why did I even accept the invitation in the first place? Well, actually... Why did I accept the invitation? Yeah, you can run in this game. Hello? Ugh, creepy crows. Crows are cool and all, but they can be creepy sometimes. Wait, this is how horror movie horror stories begin, right, isn't it? But maybe also some romance stories. <laughs> no, mostly just horror stories. Don't have a choice but to go inside the house though, so yeah. This fountain. Pretty fountain, yeah. She's so falling from the rain. That seems like it's been used in a long time. Come to think of it, this whole place seems rather overgrown. Do people really still live here? Yeah, kinda creepy, isn't it? Yeah, it's all creepy, isn't it? Act one. Here, let me get that for you. Oh, hello there. Hi, I was invited to the, uh... Am I even at the right place? Yes, you're the first guest to arrive, in fact. You aren't early, the other guests are just late. Huh, must be the rain. Ack! Sorry about the floor. But that's fine, just stand still for a moment. Whoa, how'd you do that? That'd be the auto cleaning module X-Clean 2000. Or was the X-Clean 3000? No, it was X-Clean 4000 Super. The owners are a bit germophobic, we spare no expense when it comes to cleanliness. Owner, so you aren't? Certainly not, we're just our assistants. Caretakers of the house, among other things. Speaking of which, they should be expecting you upstairs. It'd be to your credit to greet them. They like those who are punctual. Oh, all right. Whoa. That's pretty, look at the amethyst. Or amethyst, or however you pronounce that. Never figured that out. Bathroom is to your right. Huh? To wash your hands. Germaphobe, remember? Right. Wow, that seems a bit much. Do they really need to sit on gold to take a dump? I know. It's a nice house they have there, though. Very nice. So we've got to go upstairs now. Huh. 
<laughs> music is all fancy too. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it must be the other door then. Well? Oh, sorry, I zoned out for a bit. Hmm. Oh! That's my piece! Capture my king with my own pawn. Truly the one move I did not anticipate. Okay, look. This chess game is cute and all, but can we cut to the chase? Are you joining us or not? Hello. Well, I see the others are arriving. Not leaving because you're lo losing for once. I don't lose. I get generous. <laughs> Hello, my name is... Hmm. Hey. Are you one of the hosts? No, I'm a guest. A guest? But what's your name? Quincy, Quincy Reynard. And you? Hmm. What's your favorite food? Er, uh, excuse me? Your favorite food? Got any? Uh. Steak. Very rare steak. Are you telling the truth? Okay, fine. It's avocado salad. Wait, what is this? Just curious. Hey, you never told me your name. It's Lenry. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm doing fine, but... Well, this place makes me a little uneasy. I so? Isn't the fire cozy? I don't know, it just feels a little off. You sure are making yourself at all, no? Have you been here before? Yeah, I've been here many times, but this is my first time. I see. Wait, what? Hmm? Huh? Sorry, but could I have a moment to myself, please? I just need to take care of something. Alright. Yeah. Wait, I have something to ask you. Huh? I mean, first I have something to tell you. What is it? Your jacket looks nice. Oh, uh, thanks. And what did you want to ask me? Never mind that. Maybe I'll ask later. Okay, then. Hey, the door's locked. Probably just stuck. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Pretty, isn't it? Whoa, that's from something else. Perhaps that's for the door. Uh, I should probably get that back. I better find a way to get that key without losing a hand. Uh, yeah. Here goes something on a stick. Hey, little kitty. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. Yeah. That door over there should lead back to the hallway. Yeah, yeah. There we go. A 
hell. Yeah, that's what I mean when I said this game is dark. Try to change the pace, huh? What? Then we. Help! Someone help! Hey, what happened? We heard you yell. What is that on your hand? I gotta, I gotta tell them. But what did I even see? Sir, are you doing alright? Upstairs, something happened up there. Excuse me? They're dead, I saw, I don't know how, but I... I mean, I just opened the door and... Have they arrived? Rippy, isn't it? Oh, good. You're here. Welcome, and please make yourself at home. What the pug? Wait, maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe they aren't really there. They're still super alive. I mean, no, wait, that's a good thing. Maybe I just, um, I imagine the bodies? But how did I, I didn't even know what they look like. Are you doing all right? It looked like you were spacing, spacing out there. Is something the matter? Is your blood sugar low, dear? I, no, I'm okay. I mean, I don't know what I... It's about time. You just better go and get ready. Hello? Did you see what happened? What happened? I'm sorry, do I know you? Do you, do you not remember me? Have we met somewhere? Here! We literally met here! I mean, not literally, literally here, but uh, in this house. What are you even talking about? I just got here. But upstairs. You asked me what my favorite food was, and my dark secret. Okay, you're starting to freak me out. Wait a minute. Do you happen to have a twin? Please do not harass the other deaths, Mr. Reynard. Ooh, a crystal scars we have out there. Tell me, have you someone to take care of the mess, dear? Worry not, Miss Adja. Just up onto the auto cleaning module and all will be sorted. Auto cleaning? Whatever happened to the more hands on approach? You seem like a capable lad for one. Boss, oh, such a mess. To think that I got into this gown just muddle all the floor. Worry not, ma'am. It's nothing our X Claim 4000 Super can handle. 4000, a generation behind, aren't we? I expect better for a facility of this nature. Duly noted, Mr. Armstrong. Oh, your cheeks are just so cute when you say that. Boy, it's raining terabytes out there. Darn, is the X-Claim 4000 Super I spy? Impeccable catch, Mr. Clegg. Of course, I've been wanting to take one of those apart. 
long, how long have you been brewing over here if the rumors are true? Certainly. We'll try not to disappoint. Who are all these people? Darling, if what lies in the other room is even half of what we were promised. Oh, I don't suppose you much care for the technical details, do you? Oh, I care. Indeed, I do. This gotcha stuff has always been a dear passion, if I only had the time, of course. I mean, how else will my multi-panel mirror work? I was told there would be an enviable stream of money flowing here. Looking around, Indina and I must make up about 80% of the net worth in this room. Care for tuna rock? I'm not in the mood for it. I mean, am I going crazy? No, sir, these walls really do smell this good. I mean, back upstairs, I'm pretty sure I just saw... But just then, they were standing there. Sir, I don't know what you're on about, but... It sounds like you could really use a tuna roll. You know what? Fine, give it to me. <laughs> okay, that does help. I know. But you see, Lena my team revolutionized the industry. I'm sorry, which industry are we talking about? Of course, excuse me, my mind shoots ahead on its own sometimes. This is the eternal curse of the genius. We must forever be slowing down. Um, excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Again? So you remember? No, please leave me alone. As I was saying, Linry, and I think you will find this most interesting. Oh yes, of course. What were we talking about again? So because underneath the refrigerator is the second most common place to find ice. Man, maybe I need some fresh air. <laughs> Cute. There are buttons on here. Activation, exclamation mark one. Uh, hey. Hello. So, uh, what do you do? Rice spot has two purposes. Cook best rice and emotional support. Are you sure you cook the best rice? Elaborate. I mean, how do you know you really cook the best rice? Who's to say? Rice spot says it. But you're the cook. Rice spot is rice spot. You are only Quincy. You are not rice spot. Rice spot knows rice. It is known. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Wait, how does it know my name? Uh, yeah, I'm certainly in need of emotional support right now. How can you help? A nuanced question. Depends on many factors. What is troubling you? Well, in the past hour, I found dead bodies, saw them come back to life, time traveled, and the solution is rice. Would you like some? Not now, thanks. Okay. It appears there is nothing Rice Bot can do for you. Entering hibernation rice warming mode. That was pretty extra. It should be ready soon. Please be patient. Hmm. Cool. The other one looks open. Okay. Just, what is even happening here? Am I going crazy? Or maybe it's just deja vu combined with a bad dream. Yeah, I must have slept too late last night and dozed off in the bathroom. Let me. Oh no, it's you again. Sorry, I just wanted to... Look, I just want to go to the bathroom. You don't stop this. This. Hold on. Do you smell something? Yeah, is that... Smoke. Smoke! Uh, I should help. What's going on here? Don't even know. The secret to a clean kitchen is a good sanitary routine. And the good sanitary routine begins at the floor, one tile at a time. The guests have arrived. There's not enough time. We need more chefs. Uh, may I help? No. Eh. <sighs> eh. Yeah. Yeah. 
panic in the kitchen, yeah. The secret to the best seasoning, well, it's super fresh garlic. And the secret to the freshest garlic is to watch them grow. Yeah. Garlic is pretty nice, isn't it? A lot of recipes can be used with it. Or vice versa or whatever. Hmm. Smoke was coming here, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't fire or anything. Man, this whole freaking house is just... Oh, uh, was that? But, but, but she... Almost like a murder mystery combined with time travel, yeah. Linry? How could this be happening again? Maybe, maybe I really am just seeing things after all. Yeah, these hallucinations are really getting out of hand. Oh, Mr. Reynard. Have you met the professors already? Uh, yeah, I think they're in there. Great, thanks. Please be a hallucination, please be a hallucination. Ugh. I need to get to the bottom of this. Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? One time we tend to sketching a party without our bodyguards. Wait, their eyes are still open. And that smell, I just can't take it anymore. Wait. Oh man, it's finally happened. My cooking killed someone. Did he even eat the meal yet? No, but what does it matter anymore? Well... We'll be okay, right? The FBI's gotta be on their way. And they'll bring SWAT, and PETA, and they'll bring everything. Bleh, PETA. I'll be frank. If you ask me, I'd say one of your guests did it. Unless, of course, one of us took this very chance to make it appear as so, instead. I mean, if I were to commit this heinous crime, this is exactly how I would go about it. Wait a minute. Did I do it? Oh no, this is just terrible. Culinary school did not prepare me for this. Ambulance? Yes, but I don't think they're breathing. What the? What's that? Fire trucks? Well, bring everyone. Um, yes. Fire trucks too, please. Yes, I know it's remote, but please hurry. Miss Ajo, please stay back and keep a safe distance. Oh, please, dear. I've seen my fair share of corpses back in the day. But you know what's odd? I've never seen wounds like these. And their eyes, as if they were seeing something horrible. These aren't bullet wounds, nor are they knife wounds. Please step back, Miss Ardra. We don't know if the bodies are dangerous. I'll put you yapping. It's not like I'm touching them. Psst. You know what's strange? If only four people live here. Why do they need three chefs? This isn't the time for jokes. What were you doing upstairs earlier? It wasn't a joke. And what do you mean? I saw you coming upstairs earlier, right before I found the bodies. But I never came upstairs. I was in the kitchen. Well, yeah, okay, I saw that too. Aren't making much sense. I'm not... I know. Look, we all need to calm down. This is a lot to take in. Wait, where are you going? Uh, I'm just wandering. Actually, when I came up and saw this, you were the only other person here. Is that true, Mr. Reynard? What were you doing here? Hey now, I was also just, uh, wandering. Wait, actually, no. I followed her. Linry, after leaving the kitchen, I followed her upstairs and... Excuse me, the lady stayed in the kitchen with us. Yeah, we came up together just now. Why are you lying, Mr. Reynard? Is there something you'd like to tell us? I'm not lying. 
She went upstairs too. I swear I saw it. Maybe you should have a seat, Mr. Reynard. I don't think you should be going anywhere. No, I can explain. Just let me explain. I think I can... Why am I running? I've done nothing wrong. Eh. Getting intense, isn't it? That's probably not the best time for it. Eh. Earlier, when I washed my hands, it's silly to even think of that, but... Knocking. Stopped? The door's unlocked. Hello? Ominous, isn't it? Did I really do it? Did I reset time? I'm happy to see my brother so eager to spend money for once. Or just like last week, she went and glanced at my cute emerald encrusted shoehorn and said, Sister, I didn't sleep my life away with hard work inheriting a money mother's fortune to spend it all. Yeesh. I dare say your joint funds are serving humanity better now than they've done at home. I was told there would be an enviable stream of money flowing here, but looking around, she and I must be making up 90% of the net worth in this room. 90% instead of 80%. Care for dinner roll? No, that's fine. They should be ready soon. Please be patient. To truly comprehend the gravity of such a feat, we need to go back to basic physics. Oh, must we? The rice and tuna roll is made by a rice pot. Oh, neat. Did you eat it? Yeah, it was good, thanks. Just good? They are to die for. Okay, the way you put that is troubling in the circumstances. Yeah. Maybe I should at least talk to Linnery. Yeah. Hey, Linnery. Oh, it's you again. Can I help you? Yeah, I just have a question. You, did you find it strange that there are so many chefs here? So many chefs? I don't know. How do they even have that? Or how much do they even have? As I was saying, Linnery, and I think you'll find this extremely intriguing. Oh, yes, of course. What were we talking about again? So, because most cat hairs discarded come in the waste bin. She really doesn't remember. Maybe she's just pretending. Eh, creepy. Okay, figure this out. I just gotta think. I just... It's like, a, it's like a Groundhog Day loop, except each loop is different and shorter. Okay, maybe I can't figure this out. Where's Linda? I'm just gonna ask her the route, right? Yeah. I don't understand. What could have been the motive? I mean, sure, they were indeed germophobic, but this is too much. I, I can't believe this. Dr. Yu, Dr. Haynes, who could have done this? Okay, you two are gonna have to slow down a bit. Especially you. Yeah, and then I would whip with the fingerprints and all the evidence to tie this to myself. Theoretically. 
Theoretically. Okay, but did you see anything that would help in this actual case? What? This is helping. You're gonna direct theories for me at Theoretical Criminal Mastermind. Sir, I think I'm gonna need your name and ID. And as I walked through the door, that's when it happened. The fine product of my trials was caught with a hand on delicate lining ripped apart. Oh, and then I saw the bodies. Horrible. Did you not notice something odd when you first saw the bodies? Yes, I indeed did. They were dead. What's gonna happen to them? What's gonna happen to me? And more importantly, what's gonna happen to my garlic? Oh, pull yourself together, lad. What kind of trained chef has to breathe through a murder or two? Try to find Linarino. Hey, Kitty. Hey, what are you doing out here? This whole time you could come and go on on your own accord. Wait a minute. Could it be? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. Cast the murderer. Uh. Creepy but funny at the same time. No. No, it couldn't be. That's just dumb. Hey, where'd it go? It's unlocked. Oh my goodness, it's real. You cat. Why is that cat so long? Excuse me? Wait, no, that's not what I came here to ask. You know what, I'm just gonna straight up say it. There are two of you. That's right, I saw it. You were at two places at once. Also, I think that stink downstairs freaking resets time. I don't want to say Groundhog did, but there's something going bonkers going on. You're aware of how crazy you sound, right? Oh, trust me, I know. I mean, am I crazy? Maybe. But is this crazy? Definitely. I don't know what you expect me to say. Just answer me this. Do you have any clue what I'm talking about? Not at all. Aha, you're lying. Well, why do you think that? Well, let's see. There are dead bodies downstairs. You're alone, and a stranger approaches with crazy tales. If you aren't in it and all of this, then why are you not running? And where would I run to? I don't know. Somewhere away from me? Well, look, to be honest, you are freaking me out. But it's more in a strange way than, well... I don't know, but I just don't think you're the killer or anything. How do you know that? You don't know me. And given the circumstances, even I would think I could be the killer. I'm not sure. It's just a feeling. There's something about you. I just feel like you can't be the killer. Okay, I know that's supposed to be good, but why does it feel emasculating? Well, why aren't you running? From what? From me. Why, uh, why would I be running from you? I mean, a mysterious stranger appearing double in a timer setting murder loop. What you're saying is true, then it sounds like I would be the suspicious one. Uh, can't argue with you there. But I guess, I feel like there's something about you, too. I mean, it's so crazy to feel like I'm still in denial, but... There's something about you that makes me feel like you can't be the killer, either. Take me to it. What? The sink downstairs. You said it resets time? You believe me? No, don't be ridiculous. But given the circumstances, I'd like to see what's making you act this way. Alright, I guess it's the best I could hope for. Come on, I'll show you. Someone in there? Stay away. This is my hiding spot. Ugh, this could be a problem. Let me try. Hey, are you alright in there? Go away. I'm not letting money until my bodyguards get here. That's fine. I'm leaving. Did you just knock on the door every five minutes or so, though? What? Why? Just so we know you're alive, of course. I mean, you're all alone in there. If something happens, nobody would know. 
And who knows if there are other entrances? Those single doubt are easy targets, after all. In fact, this murder podcast I was just listening to the other day said... <laughs> there. Why do you listen to murder podcasts? It's complicated. <laughs> Funny. Is this the thing you were talking about? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Are you going to do it? I'm gonna do it. Ah, actually, wait. What, you can't wash your hands with someone watching? No, it's just... Do you mind if we do it together? I... I mean, maybe that way there's more of a chance we both travel in time. I don't really know how synchronized time travel works, but I'm just tired of being the only crazy person every time I come out of this bathroom. This better not be some convoluted scheme to try something weird with me. Don't flatter yourself. There are corpses outside I'm not in the mood. Well, come on. Wait. What? Just in case this doesn't work. Can you tell me a secret so it's easier to convince you that we've met before? There's anything more and more sketchy by the minute. I know. Lavender. Hmm? Just lavender. Yeah. Okay. Wait. What? So you met me in those other supposed timelines? Yeah, I thought you didn't believe this. I don't, but never mind. Look, I'm just curious. What did I say to you? Well, we didn't really talk much, but oh, you did say there was something that you wanted to ask and show me and show me. That was the first time I saw you, I think. Hmm. Any idea? Not a clue. Okay, let's get this over with. Right. Wait. <laughs> Never mind, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> That's funny. Is something supposed to happen? I don't know. I guess maybe it already happened. The last few times I just turned on the water, wash my hands like this. And close my eyes like this. Then I opened my eyes and walked outside. Linry? Hey. Very creepy, isn't it? It's been reset again. I guess I'm the, I am the only one who can use this thing after all. At least it's easier to talk to Linry now. I should still be at the party room. Hello? That light. It's so bright. Where is it coming from? Was there a light fixture on there? Creepy, isn't it? Hmm. Getting creepier and creepier by the minute, isn't it? What is happening? I don't understand. What is this? Creepy, isn't it? All these duplicate dead bodies. Ugh, so many of them, aren't there? What is this feeling? 
Yeah, now look how fast, how fast he's going. Kind of tricky to control him like this, though. I have to use my mouse here. The door won't open. Is that the door? Creepy. Only, ch only choice is going downstairs. Dead bodies are everywhere. Creepy. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Ugh, all these duplicates of himself here. Yeah. What in the? Um. Even just one of you was enough trouble as it was. going on? I'm sorry. This was going to be about you, but then this happened. I ran more iterations, but I can't stop it. It keeps on happening, and it shouldn't. Wait, you can't just leave it like that. Please, just tell me what's going on. That's actually what I've been trying to figure out myself. Seems like you weren't reset like the rest, though. This is one more thing to fix. Reset? But this is good. Maybe you can show me what you saw. What I saw. Well, it's all started when I went into the washroom earlier, and then... Hmm. You've seen some weird stuff. This might come in handy. What the pug was that? Any coincidence, though. It really did make this thing seem like a time machine. The chance that my resets lined up so perfectly with this sink is improbable. Are you even talking to me? Wait a minute. Am I a robot? Sorry. As I said, I'm just a bit preoccupied right now. But basically, I created this world. I created you. What? What? <laughs> Poor guy. Existential dread, yeah. This wasn't something I wanted to show you this iteration, but since I need to keep you around for reference, you might as well go and have a look. Hold on, just back up a minute. Why did you mean you created? I mean, what even is this place? I think you'll find the answers inside here. Sorry you have to keep these weird memories, though. I'll need them later for reference. But just try not to worry about it. Not worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go on, I'll meet you in there. But, 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 get your butt in there. What a mess. Might as well let this one run its course. I guess the first time's never the charm. To happen every time? Every time when... Wait a minute. Hey, you said you'd meet me in here. Creepy, isn't it? 
Anyways, it's probably stop this now. Getting a bit long. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And feel free to like and comment and subscribe and check out my Twitch and Ko-Fi and Terror SciSX. And next episode, we're going to be going through more of this game. Pretty crazy. And it's already crazy enough so far. So, yeah. Peace off.